Firstly, Ian has had a distinguished footballing career as both a player uh, and more recently as a coach. As a player, Ian played in 15 seasons of the English Premier League, um, starting off with, with Tottenham and then later moving to a distinguished career with Norwich. And as a play, uh, I beg your pardon, and as a coach, more recently, Ian has had over a decade's experience applying his trade in Australia, England, and in Japan. Another important factor for us was Ian's proven track record in being able to develop young, talented players. And he's proven that on a number of occasions over the last couple of seasons as he's headed up our youth program. Here at Sydney FC, we now have a number of very talented young players that have progressed through that system, um, have now entered into professional contracts here at Sydney FC and are ready for first team football. And we're very confident that under Ian's continued gui guidance, that those players will continue to develop and become very important members of our squad for the coming seasons. And finally, another important factor for us was that Ian knows Sydney FC. He knows what this club is about. He's spent three seasons in total here at Sydney FC. He's experienced success at Sydney FC. And importantly, our playing squad have the utmost respect for Ian as both a man and as a coach. So for all of those reasons, and a few more reasons that I haven't mentioned, we are very confident that Ian is the right man uh, to take us forward. And on behalf of the board of Sydney FC, I'd like to congratulate you, Ian, uh, on your new appointment and wish you all the best for the coming season. Thank you. Thanks. Firstly, I'd just like to start and say that the chairman actually missed the most important thing that probably tipped the scales in my favour was my uh, four weeks at American Samoa. Um, I think that was, uh, that was the deciding factor in this. Um, now look, firstly, I'd like to thank the, the, the club, uh, the, the chairman and the board of directors for an opportunity that has probably been sat in my stomach for uh, a few years now. Um, from day one, when I came to work here, um, I just had a, a real desire and passion to make this successful here. I was fortunate to work with uh, Pierre Litbarski in year one and, and then you know things sort of developed from there and sort of gone elsewhere overseas and come back and yeah it's just something that's just sort of built up inside of me especially over the last six months to have the opportunity to come and work at, which I believe is the biggest club in the country. I know there'll be a few out there that will argue the point but for me this is the biggest um, and I just would love to, uh, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to take the club back to where I believe it belongs which is which is right up the top there challenging the likes of Brisbane Raw and Central Coast for for titles uh, year in and year out and that's that's something that's uh, really for me something I'm looking forward to. Yeah, if you can look at me please chance. Sorry guys and, and one more looking down. Last one. I'll just wait for the shirt to drop. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay.